to the morning show Libitola Kakihota Rams. The financial sector conduct authority has been certified as a top employer for 2024 by the Top Employers Institute. And today I'm joined by Jabulani Kaletwa, the divisional executive for corporate services at FSCA, to delve into the significance of the top employer of 2024 certification and explore HR strategies, diversity initiatives, employee well-being and future plans. Jablani, please welcome to the morning show and congratulations on this incredible achievement. Uh, good morning, Koto. Good morning to your viewers and uh, thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. So can you please elaborate the significance of this award and what it actually means? The FSCA is now turning six years uh, since we moved from being the old FSB to the FSCA. Mm. Since uh, the inception of the FSCA, we've been working on a number of uh, people strategies wow. which are aimed at ensuring that we provide a seamless experience to our employees. Mm. Besides that, the Top Employer Institute is one of the leading uh, people practice benchmarking institutions. Oh. And being recognized as uh, among the top employers in SA, in the public sector, and globally, mm. uh, this bodes very well for our brand. It will ensure that uh, we are able to attract future employees yeah. and also ensure that uh, we retain the current employees that we have. Absolutely. Wow, that really is an incredible achievement. And I'd like to know, what are some of the HR strategies or practices that had to be implemented in order for you to receive this prestigious award? In the last uh, three years, we've put in place a people strategy, and that people strategy has got a number of levers. Wow. Looking at employee engagement, how our employees experience being in the workplace, also ensuring that we look after their wellness, uh, the HR experience, also our talent acquisition strategies. We have ensured that we review our policies, benchmark mm. against other leading organizations mm. to ensure that we move away from the public sector uh, mentality to more being a private. Mm. We attract most of our employees from the private sector. So to that extent, being a public entity which is aimed at ensuring that uh, there's fair market conduct. So Jabalani, tell me, how does the FACA believe that this certification will benefit both the organization and its employees? Being able mm -hmm. to review our people practices, we provide value to our employees that they'll find out there. So yeah. they have to decide whether they either stay or leave. With regards to our other organizations, especially those that we compete against, yeah. uh, which would be your financial sector and other public entities, again, it, it means that they have to work hard to get to where we are. Yeah. We have set a benchmark. Uh, we have increased the value of our brand as an institution. We have also demonstrated that it's doable mm. if you have intentional strategies. Yeah. And to that extent, we will also encourage them to ensure that they continuously review their own strategies. Yeah. A recent comment that was made by the FSC commissioner, in which was sort of stressing the importance of enhancing the value proposition and investing in the professional growth of employees. Um, could you provide examples of how the FSC is going to be accomplishing this? We've got a number of initiatives, and this also forms part of our learning and development pillar on our people's strategy. Uh, we provide bazaars to our employees, wow. we provide coaching and mentoring opportunities. Mm. Besides that, we also facilitate uh, rotation of staff within wow. the organization, but also secondment opportunities internationally and locally. Mm. So we've got a memorandum of understanding with those that report to the Treasury, yes. the Minister of Finance, where we facilitate exchange or rotation of employees and that will in the long term ensure that uh, within all the ranks within the organization that we are inclusive uh, and there's more equity and oh. equality wow. uh, within the institution. How does the FSCA aim to maintain the status as a top employer and what initiatives are planned to sustain this achievement? To maintain it, it means that we must always be on our toes. Being recognized as a top employer does not necessarily mean that you are in the top three. Yeah. 
we have to compete against the top three. So to that extent, our people practices will be reviewed in mm. the next three years to ensure that we match best practices. Mm. Uh, we do understand that we are a public entity, so we're yeah. not going to throw money <laughs> at processes and policies. Yes. But we have to develop our own managers, our own leaders, mm. ensure that uh, when they engage with staff members, yeah. uh, they practice what other leading organizations are doing out there. So mm. investing in our people, in our leaders, mm. again, for the next three years, is going to be very important mm. uh, for us. Talk to me a bit about that, right? And I'd like us to discuss the role of employee well-being and how that plays into the FSA's workplace culture and how it aligns with the organization's core values. Our people are assets, and when the people are your assets, mm. or employees are your assets, you have to invest in mm. their well-being. Their mental well-being is of paramount Absolutely. importance to us. Mm. We believe that our employees have to demonstrate a culture of work-life balance, mm. uh, lead by example, invest in their own physical well-being, in their own wellness. Mm. We do tap into our service providers in terms of providing wow. in-house wellness service. We do have sporting clubs within the FSCA. We have a road running club. We have also a wow. soccer club within the FSCA and a netball mm. club. Yeah. And we also encourage staff to come up with other innovative ideas to nice. ensure that uh, uh, their wellness is taken care of. We are a fairly young organization. Average age of employees is about just less than 40 mm. and we believe that uh, uh, if they take care of themselves they will give us a longer lifespan that's true uh, lifespan. yeah but that means also that uh, the entities that we regulate benefit out of that because of the institutional knowledge that the employees have right and uh, the quality of supervision that they provide mm. to these entities well, Jablin, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us here on The Morning Show and congratulations on this incredible milestone. Cannot wait to continue celebrating you because I guess it's true what they say, that if your employees are happy, they really are going to pull themselves into make sure that the work is great too. And that's what got you this recognition. So thanks again for joining us. Thank you, Koto, for sharing, uh, for allowing us to share our experiences with you and your viewers. We're definitely seeing you next year. Yes. This will be in the top three. Hi, we look forward to having this chat all over again. TMS viewers, thank you very much for joining us. Don't go anywhere. We have loads more to come after the break. AXA, your favorite discount supermarket, gives you lower prices every day. Like Cutler's Comfort Disposable Nappies Value Pack, buy two for only 200 Rand. Dental Hygiene Bath Soap, 175 gram, buy four.